Hi children, welcome. Welcome once again to another chemistry class. In this class, we are discussing few important questions from a very important chapter that is equilibrium. Usually, you know from this chapter, on an average of three questions are coming for entrance examination. While the other chapter is usually one or two, that is what coming. While from the chapter equilibrium, you can expect three questions from the chapter for the exams. So it's a very important chapter. Let us go through few important questions from the chapter. Ready? Start. Welcome. Yes. First question. If the equilibrium constant for the given reaction K, equilibrium constant for the other reaction, you can compare the two reactions. See the second reaction is half of the first reaction. So you know what is the relation? When you multiply a reaction with a coefficient, the new K value will be K raised to N. Suppose you have a reaction R converted to product K value, I mean K. Suppose it is N R giving N P K dash is equal to K raised to N. You have learnt. So what here is the coefficient is half, half like that. So it's very simple. You have taken half the equation. So K dash will be K raised to half. K dash will be K raised to half. Third choice. Simple direct question. Okay. Next. Option 3. Not an acidic buffer. Not an acidic buffer. This is an acidic buffer. A weak bicarb sorry, carbonic acid and its salt. This is an acidic buffer. This is not a buffer because it is a perchloric acid, strong acid and salt. See which one is acting as a buffer? A weak acid and its conjugate base is acting as a buffer solution, right? Or it is a weak base and its salt acting as a buffer solution. So answer is option Three. What about the fourth one? That is also acidic buffer. So one, two, four are acidic buffer, and our answer is option three. Option three is the correct answer because it is not a buffer. It is not a buffer. Next. Point one molar NaOH. 0 0.01 molar HCl mixer. What is the pH? 0 0.1 molar NaOH equal volumes, isn't it? Equal volumes, equal volumes of 0 0.1 molar NaOH and 0 0.01 molar HCl are mixer. What is the pH of the solution? It's very clear that the acid is very low quantity and alkali is greater. Alkali greater means that itself is enough to confirm the answer option 3, isn't it? Option 3, 12.65, you don't have to calculate. This is neutral, this is acidic, this is acidic. Here you see, this is a very low quantity, 0 0.01 molar. Here it is 0 0.1 molar. This is 10 times concentrated. So it is an alkaline solution, third choice. And now, how do you work out? How do you work out? It is... M1V1 minus M2V2 divided by V1 plus V2. The resultant concentration of OH minus. Now V1 is equal to V2. Therefore it is M1 minus M2 by 2. That is the concentration of NaOH and that is the concentration of OH minus. Thereby you get a pH and thereby you get, sorry, POH 1.35 and thereby you get pH 12.65. Nothing is required in this question because alkali is excess quantity. Okay, next question. 
പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഓഫ് പിരിഡിൻ ദാറ്റ് ഫോംസ് പിരിഡിനിയം അയോൺ ഇന്ന് പോയിന്റ് വൺ മോളാർ അക്വസ് പിരിഡിൻ സൊല്യൂഷൻ കെ ബി ഗിവൺ പേ കെ ബി ഗിവൺ പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഓഫ് പിരിഡിൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വാട്ട് ആസ്ക്ഡ് ഇഫ് യു ഗെറ്റ് ആൽഫ യു ഗെറ്റ് യുവർ ആൻസർ ഇഫ് യു ഗെറ്റ് ആൽഫ യു ഗെറ്റ് യുവർ ആൻസർ you see this is what the reaction you know kb is equal to c alpha square therefore alpha is equal to root of kb by c alpha is equal to root of kb by c kb given c given you get alpha and that is the that is the percentage it is 1.3 into 10 power minus 4 is alpha percentage is into 100 that is 0.013 percentage option fourth choice option fourth choice okay next ec rosel for a given reaction has negative value which of the following gives correct relationship for the value of delta g 0 and k equilibrium see emf of the cell is negative that means non spontaneous emf of the cell positive is spontaneous very simple logic you are getting energy from the battery that is emf positive you are giving energy to the battery that is emf negative emf negative means non spontaneous non spontaneous means delta g greater than 0 delta g greater than 0 means k positive sorry delta g positive means what is that k is less than 1 k is less than 1 and the answer will be delta g greater than 0 and k less than 1 option 4 is the correct answer option 4 is the correct answer you see this is negative this is negative means this is positive this is positive means k equilibrium will be less than 1 k equilibrium less than 1 means log k will be negative so minus of minus delta g becomes positive okay next question AgCl KSP given what is the solubility in 0.1 molar NaCl solution KSP given what is the solubility in 0.1 molar NaCl solution similar question you might have done many times how to how to solve it how to solve it KSP 4 AgCl equal to concentration of Ag plus into Cl minus is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 10. And now this is usual case. This is usual case. And now we are taking this in 0.1 molar NaCl solution. 0.1 molar NaCl solution means 0.1 molar NaCl solution means Cl minus concentration is 0.1 molar Cl minus concentration is 0.1 molar and this concentration that is a new solubility so new solubility that is Ag plus into chloride concentration that is equal to KSP 1.6 into 10 power minus 10 so what is the new solubility new solubility will be 1.6 into 10 power minus 9 1.6 into 10 power minus 9 solubility of agcl solubility of agcl with the solubility product 1.6 into 10 power minus 10 in 0.1 molar NaCl solution i think it is the answer key given wrong answer key given is wrong right option 3 1.26 into 10 power minus 5 no it must be option 4 1.6 into 10 power minus 9 see what is given we will do once again no issues the solubility product of agcl given that is ksp agcl 1.6 into 10 power minus 10 that is that is concentration of ag plus 
into concentration of Cl minus. Okay. Now we are taking 0.1 molar NaCl solution. This is taken in 0.1 molar NaCl solution. Definitely the solubility will change. So the new solubility will be concentration of Ag plus. That is solubility into concentration of Cl minus. This is a pretty large value. And therefore it will be that value taken itself. So 0.1. So this is new solubility. So new solubility is what asked for. New solubility is what asked for. So it will be 10 power minus 1. It cancels here. One Option 4 is the correct answer. Not to 3. Option 4 is the correct answer. 1.6 into 10 power minus 9. Okay. Next. A 20 liter container 400 Kelvin contain CO2 at a pressure 0.4 atm and an excess strontium oxide neglect the volume. Volume of container is now decreased by moving the movable piston fitted with the container fitted in the container. Maximum volume of the container when pressure of CO2 attain its maximum value. Pressure of CO2 attain its maximum value. Maximum value attained at equilibrium. Equilibrium pressure is 1.6. Because this is a solid. This is a solid. Therefore, Kp is equal to partial pressure of CO2 is equal to 1.6. Now the pressure is 0.4 atm. So 0.4 atm pressure can go up to 1.6 atm. So, 0.4 atm pressure can increase up to 1.6 atm. What is question? Maximum volume of the container when pressure of CO2 attain its maximum value. Now, the volume of the volume of the container here is 20 liter. So, pressure increases by 4 times, isn't it? Pressure increases by 4 times. Therefore, volume decreases by 1 by 4. So, it is 5 liters. Option 1. So, the pressure 0.4 atm. See, the other components are solids. So, only CO2 is considered. The pressure is 0.4 atm. And now, that can go up to maximum in the equilibrium 1.6 atm. That means pressure can be 4 times. So, volume will be 1 fourth. Volume now it is 20 liter can be 1 fourth, 5 liters. Next, 5 liters. Equilibrium constants of the following reactions are given. Equilibrium constant for this is, look at the data to get the, get the answer. You want two, you want this equation, two ammonia on left hand side. You have two ammonia on right hand side. So K1 will be in the denominator. K1 will be in the denominator because ammonia coming to left hand side. So this is out. K1 denominator. So it can be 2, 3, 4. Now, I want two NO right hand side. Two NO is on right hand side. So I want K2 on top. K2 on top. So, this value is out. Here K2 is on top, K2 is on top. Here K2 is there, but taken raised to 3, not required. 2NO, 2NO. So, K2 remain as such. Now, left with the 2 and 3. Now, I want 3 water molecule on right hand side. Here, 1 water molecule and K3. 3 water molecule means K3 raised to 3. K3 raised to 3. So, the answer is second choice. So, K1 in the denominator, K2 in the numerator, K3 raised to 3 in the numerator. How do we understand? Ammonia left hand side. Here ammonia right hand side coming to left hand side, K1 will be given by K. Now, 2NO right hand side, 2NO right hand side, K2 as such. 3 water right hand side, 1 water K3, 3 water K3 raised to 3. Hence the answer. Hope you understand. Characteristics of equilibrium. When you reverse the reaction, K becomes 1 by K. When you multiply the reaction with an integer, I mean with a value, K will become K raised to that value. 
next option 2 next concentration of ag plus ions in a saturated solution is given solubility product is solubility product is see concentration of silver is given therefore concentration of oxalate will be half of that because concentration of silver you see ag2 ag2 so concentration of oxalate will be half of that you get ksp this is concentration of silver therefore concentration of oxalate will be half of that so this is concentration of oxalate now ksp equation this one just to substitute and get your answer ksp value 5.3 into 10 power minus 12 5.3 into 10 power minus 12 that is the value look at the formula ag2 c2o4 2 my c2o4 so there are two ag and one c2o4 so concentration of silver given therefore concentration of oxalate will be half of that and once you get the concentration saturated concentration of ag plus and oxalate you get your answer but don't forget it is ag concentration square you need to take ag concentration square you need to take okay next in which case ph will be equal to 1 in which case ph will be equal to 1 here acid is greater therefore ph can be less than 7 here acid is greater ph can be less than 7 here also acid is greater ph can be less than 7 here it is equal so this is ph equal to 7 anyway it is not going to be d anyway it is not going to be d it must be option c as the quantity of hcl is larger it must be option c as the quantity of hcl is larger and now you can work out for getting that how to work out m1 v1 minus m2 v2 divided by v1 plus v2 what is m1 1 by 5 what is v1 75 minus m2 1 by 5 v2 25 divided by 75 plus 25 100 this is the resultant h plus concentration so 1 by 5 taken out 25 75 minus 25 is 50 1 by 5 1 by 5 into 50 that is 10 10 by 100 10 by 100 is 0 0.1 so you will get h plus concentration 0 0.1 10 power minus 1 ph is equal to 1 simple h plus concentration you are getting 10 power minus 1 that is ph is equal to 1 you are getting that right next solubility of barium sulfate in water given See the value gram per liter. The value of solubility product a constant. So convert that into mole per liter. Convert that into mole per liter and find out the solubility product because it is AB type salt. For AB type salt, solubility product is equal to S square. So convert that gram per liter to mole per liter and take square. That's all. You see what it is given here? The solubility given this much in gram per liter divided by molar mass this much in mole per liter now ksp is equal to s square so you take this value into square i mean taken for square you will get the answer 1.08 into 10 power minus 10 option 3 as the correct answer so solubility given in gram per liter convert into mole per liter then proceed it is AB type salt. It is S square. KSP is equal to S square. Next. Maximum formation of product. It is an exothermic reaction. Exothermic reaction according to Le Chatelier's principle. Exothermic reaction favored at a 
low temperature so it is low temperature so these two out now what about pressure two mole become one mole high pressure so low temperature and high pressure third choice two mole reactant become one mole product so you apply high pressure in order to decrease the pressure the reaction will driven in the forward direction le chatelier's principle third choice which will make basic buffer which will make basic buffer the first one as it leave it second one second one second one is the answer this is the answer here you have a weak base excess quantity 200 ml 200 ml ammonium hydroxide is there and as it is only 100 ml so 100 ml it will be neutralized and remaining base will be there so out of 200 100 100 will neutralize you will get ammonium chloride how much 100 ml by reacting 100 ml ammonium chloride will be formed and remaining there will be ammonium hydroxide so this can act as a basic buffer option 2 option 2 third one is not at all a buffer fourth one fourth one will not make a buffer because as it is less in quantity so it is option 2 option 2 next ksp of hg2cl2 this is a question which you need to be very careful mercurous chloride mercurous chloride you should not think like this is giving 2 hg plus plus 2 cl minus if you take it like this it will go wrong because you will be taking 2 yes 2 yes therefore ksp you are taking 2 yes the whole square 2 yes the whole square you may be taking 4 uh, 2 4 no 16 yes raised to 4 16 yes raised to 4 which is wrong answer what is actually happening what is actually happening is something different it is hg2cl2 will give you hg2 2 plus plus 2 cl minus mercurous ion is in the dimeric form you see mercurous will be always in the dimeric form like this hg plus plus like this this is mercurous and it is available as a single entity therefore it is yes and 2 yes therefore ksp will be yes into 2 yes the whole square it is 4 yes raised to 3 option 4 is the correct answer this is the correct answer 4 yes raised to 3 an example which you might have noticed but i am reminding you an example to be noticed particularly because there is a possible committing mistake option 4 next conjugate base for bronsted acid h2o hf h2o conjugate base is oh minus and hf conjugate base is f minus second choice hydrolysis of sucrose kc given delta g not how much is delta g not simple equation apply in that equation all know that equation delta g is equal to delta g not is equal to minus rt log kc minus rt log kc and you don't have to work out find out which one is correct option 4 minus rt log kc next question vapor density of n2o4 given when heated at a constant pressure vapor density decreases to 24.5 then the percentage dissociation of n2o4 at a final temperature is another typical question another typical question hope you can read it hope you can read it
yes. You see vapor density of undissociated N2O4 and dissociated N2O4 given 46 and 24.5, 46 and 24.5. While for undissociated N2O4 molecular weight is 2 times vapor density, it will be 2 times 46, 92. While dissociated N2O4, molar mass will be 2 times vapor density, 2 times 24.5, 49. So, this is undissociated N2O4 and this is dissociated N2O4. Is it clear? Is it clear? Now, suppose we are start taking up this equation, starting with 100 for finding the percentage. Starting with 100, here it is 100, here it is 0, at equilibrium 100 minus x, here it will be 2x. As you can find, N2O4 giving 2 times NO2, 2 times NO2. And therefore, total number of moles will be 100 minus x plus 2x, it will be 100 plus x. Total number of moles after dissociation, 100 minus x plus 2x, it will be 100 plus x, 100 plus x. And we have the actual molecular weight of N2O4 and NO2, 92 and 46, you know, N2O4 molecular weight, 92, that of NO2, 46, isn't it? Now, this, this you can equate in average molecular weight after dissociation, average molecular weight after dissociation, 49 and that will be 92 into 100 minus x. You see, this is available 100 minus x. So, it is 92 that of N2O4 into 100 minus x plus 46 into 2x. NO2 is 2x. Therefore, 46 into 2x divided by the total number of moles 10 plus x that is equal to that is taking average. That will be the average molecular weight after dissociation. And by equating this, you can find out x. By equating this, you can find out x. And x is equal to 87 percentage. 87 percentage. That is the degree of dissociation. That is the degree of dissociation. I'll repeat. I'll repeat. This is undissociated N2O4, molar mass is 92. Dissociated N2O4, molar mass is 2 times the vapor density, 49. 49. And it is dissociating as N2O4 giving 2NO2. Suppose we start with 100, this is 0. At equilibrium, 100 minus x, it you get 2x. Right? So the Total number of moles will be 100 minus x plus 2x, it is 100 plus x, 100 plus x. Now, once you get this, you can have a relation between average molecular weight after dissociation. Average molecular weight after dissociation will be the quantity of N2O4 into molar mass, the quantity of NO2 into molar mass of that divided by total number of moles. That will give you molar mass of the mixture average. From that, you can find out what is x. And x is the degree of dissociation. Right? Next one. And even you can equate with the, uh, what you call the I factor, which we are learning actually in the 12th standard topic that is solutions, I factor, that also can be applied here. 18, for the reaction N2O4 giving 2NO2, Kp is given by, Kp is given by, suppose we are starting with 1 mole, here it is 0 mole, 1 minus alpha, here it is 2 alpha, and the total number of moles will be 1 minus alpha plus 2 alpha, that is 1 plus alpha. And Kp will be partial pressure of NO2 square. 
by partial pressure of N2O4. And partial pressure is mole fraction into total pressure. What is the mole fraction of this? 2 alpha by 1 plus alpha into total pressure divided by mole fraction of this. 1 minus alpha by 1 plus alpha into total pressure. And remember this is the whole square. Now 1 pp will cancel. 1 pp will cancel. 1 of the 1 plus alpha will cancel. So you get 4 alpha square p by 1 minus alpha square. 4 alpha square p by 1 minus alpha square. Not only for this equation. For every reaction A giving 2B. This will be the result. For every reaction A giving 2B. This will be the result. Okay. Next. A plus 2B giving, sorry, A giving 2B, C giving D plus E. Equilibrium constants given. K1, K2 ratio given. Alpha 1 equal to alpha 2. We want to find the ratio of total pressures. We want to find the ratio of total pressures. See, for this reaction, already we have, we have done that relation now. You see that? A giving 2B, this is the relation. While you try C giving D plus E, you will get such a relation. You can verify. Hope it is clearly readable. So this we did just now and this you can try. C giving D plus D. K2 is equal to alpha square P2 by 1 minus alpha square. So here P1, here P2. In both cases alpha, alpha same. So K1 by K2 which is given 1 by 4 is equal to 4 alpha square P1 by 1 minus alpha square divided by alpha square P2 by 1 minus alpha square. This one cancels. This one cancels. You get 4 P1 by P2 is equal to 1 by 4. So P1 by P2 is equal to 1 by 6. Sorry, 1 by 16. 1 by 16, option D. Okay, no? Next. 1.1 mole of a mixer of A, mixer with a 2.2 mole B in 1 liter flask. And the reaction A giving 2B, sorry, A plus 2B giving 2C plus D is allowed to attain equilibrium. Concentration of C at equilibrium is 0.2. Equilibrium constant is. Equilibrium constant is. So concentration of C at equilibrium given 0.2. We start with 1.1 mole A, 2.2 mole B. And the reaction is A plus 2B giving 2C plus D. You see that A plus 2B giving 2C plus C. This is 1.1, 2.2, 0, 0. So this is 1.1 at equilibrium, 1.1 minus x. See, this reacting is x. So 1.1 minus x. So this reacting will be 2x. If this is x reacting, this will be 2x reacting. So this will be 2.2 minus 2x. And this formed will be 2x. And this formed will be x. It is given that, in the question you can see, equilibrium concentration of C is given 0.2. That is 2x is given 0.2. Therefore, x is 0.1. Therefore, x is 0.1. Over, now you substitute, kc is equal to concentration of c square, that is 2x square, into concentration of d, that is x, divided by concentration of a, that is 1.1 minus x, 1.1 minus x, into concentration of b raised to, concentration of b raised to 2, that is 2.2 minus 2x, 2.2 minus 2x, the whole square. So 2 into x, 2 into x the whole square into x <coughs> divided by 1.1 minus x, 2.2 minus 2x, work out, you will get the answer 0 0.001 as the correct answer. 0 0.001 as the correct answer, option, option A. <coughs> I think it is pretty clear. Next question. 
for the reaction given the initial concentration of a and b are equal at equilibrium concentration c is twice the equilibrium concentration of a ratio of equilibrium concentration see these are the typical questions from that area okay let us examine yeah not given let us work out let us work out it is given a plus b giving c plus d initial concentration of a and b are equal so one mole one mole zero zero at equilibrium one minus x one minus x x x at equilibrium concentration of c is twice the equilibrium concentration of A. So, concentration of C is twice the equilibrium concentration of A. That means, X is equal to 2 into 1 minus X. That is equal to 2 minus 2X. That is, 3X is equal to 2. X is equal to 2 by 3. So, X is equal to 2 by 3. Therefore, 1 minus x is equal to 1 by 3. So, this is 1 by 3. What we want to find out is the ratio of equilibrium concentration of A to the initial concentration. This is equilibrium concentration of A and this is initial concentration, the ratio of this and this. That is 1 by 3 is to 1. That is 1 by 3. Option D. I think that was the answer. Yes, option D. I repeat, 1 mole, 1 mole, 0, 0. 1 minus x, 1 minus x, x, x. Now, equilibrium quantity of this is equal to 2 times equilibrium quantity of this. So, x is equal to 2 times this. You get x. Once you get x, you get 1 minus x. The ratio of this by this, that is 1 by 3 by 1. That is 1 by 3. Okay, right? Next. For a reaction A plus 2B giving C, equilibrium concentrations are given. The initial concentrations A and B respectively are. Initial concentration A and B respectively are. See how can we work out. It is A plus A plus 2B giving C. All are gases. The equilibrium concentration of A, B, C are given. Equilibrium quantity of A 0 0.08 and that of B 0 0.16 and that of C 0 0.28. So you see C formed is 0 0.28. C formed is 0.28. That means A reacted is 0.28. See, one mole when react, you get one mole. So, amount of C obtained is equal to amount of A reacted. So, this is A reacted. This is A remaining. This is A reacted. Therefore, what is A initial? A available now, 0 0.08. A reacted, 0.28. So, what is A initial taken? So, it is sum of these two, sum of these two. So, how much you get? 0.28 and 8. How much? 0.36. So, this is 0.36. So, 0.36 is the initial quantity, reacted quantity this much, remaining quantity this minus this, this much. So, reacted quantity this much, 1 mole give 1 mole, so the obtained product quantity this much. And now the next one, when the A reacting is this much, B reacting will be 2 times of this. B reacting will be 0.28 into 2, that is 0.56 it will react. It will react 
and what is the initial quantity sum of this and this this is the final available quantity this is the reacted quantity so how much is remaining uh, 0 0.72 0 0.72 0 0.56 plus 0 0.16 0 0.72 is remaining sorry 0 0.72 is initial quantity the answer key i believe it is option c yeah fine option c is the correct answer so i will repeat i'll repeat the amount of t obtained at equilibrium is equal to amount of a reacted and a remaining is this much so a initially taken is remaining quantity plus reacted quantity is initial quantity so you get a initial quantity now b reacting will be two times this so b initial will be the, the quantity of B at equilibrium plus B reacted 0 0.16 plus 0 0.56, 0 0.72. Hence the answer. I think it is, okay, excellent question that one. Yes, right. KP by KC for the reaction. Hey, you know the relation. KP is equal to KC RT raised to delta N. So, Kp by Kc is equal to Rt raised to delta n. What is delta n here? 1 minus 1 and half. So, it is minus half. So, the answer is option B. Option B. You see, 1 mole on the product side and 1 and half mole on the reactant side. 1 minus 1 and half. So, what is delta n? Delta n will be, delta n will be 1 minus 1 and half. Delta N is equal to 1 minus 1 and half. So, it is minus half. So, Kp by Kc is equal to Rt raised to minus half. Rt raised to minus half. Option B. Next. A gas, B gas, AB gas. One mole A, one mole B taken in a vessel of volume V liter. At equilibrium, 0.4 mole AB is formed. The amount of A that changes to AB is, see AB formed is 0.4 mole. AB formed is 0.4 mole. So, A reacted is 0.4 mole. Taken is 1 mole. 0.4 mole reacted. That means 40% reacted. Answer is option B, 40%. See, AB obtained is 0.4 mole. That means AB obtained is 40 percentage. That means A reacted is 40 percentage. You are starting with 1 mole. B. 96 gram oxygen taken in 3 liter flask. Active mass. Active mass means molar concentration. Molar concentration means mole per liter. That is 96 gram divided by molar mass divided by volume in liter this is 3 by 3 1 option b next when equal volumes of the following solution are mixed Precipitation of AgCl will occur only in, I am sure all of you understand, precipitation occur when, when Ip exceeds Ksp, precipitation occurs. Whenever Ip exceeds Ksp, precipitation occurs, right? So, in which case Ip will exceed Ksp that you have to work out. In which case, IP will exceed KSP. That you have to work out. IP means ionic product. Suppose I am taking option A. Suppose I am taking option A. IP is equal to concentration of, is it AG Cl? AG plus into concentration of Cl minus. So, it is 10 power minus 10 divided by 2 into 10 power minus 10 divided by 2. Why divided by 2? 
See, 10 power minus 10 molar Ag plus. And you are mixing with the 10 power minus 10 molar Cl minus. So, you are mixing equal volume of two solution. So, when you mix equal volume of two solution, the volume becomes double, concentration will become half. So, the concentration of Ag plus in the new solution, it will be 10 power minus 10 by 2. It will be 10 power minus 10 by 2 for Cl minus. So, it is going to be 1 by 4 into 10 power minus 20. Anyway, it is nowhere near Ksp. It is very low value. So, you can conclude in A, there is no precipitation. So, where it will cause a precipitation, IP should exceed KSP. So, in which case it is possible? I think it is possible in option D. You look at option D. 10 power minus 4 by 2 into 10 power minus 4 by 2. That is 1 by 4 into 10 power minus 8. That is 0.25 into 10 power minus 8. That is 2.5 into 10 power minus 9. It is less than KSP. So, there it will be precipitation. In option D, there will be precipitation as KSP, sorry, IP exceeds KSP. So, whenever IP exceeds KSP, there will be precipitation. Okay. Next question. You please verify option B and C. You may kindly verify option B and C like this and examine why there is no precipitation. Right? There will not be. You try. Next. Option D only. If the solubilities of AgCl in water 0 0.01 molar NaCl 0 0.01 molar BaCl2 S1 S2 S3 correct relationship correct relationship in water solubility will be maximum S1 will be maximum S1 will be maximum there is some printing error here S1 will be maximum and uh, then it is going to be S2 and then it is going to be S3 the answer should be option A why because in water, there is no common ion. While in NaCl, there is 0 0.01 molar common ion present. While in BaCl2, 0 0.01 into 2 Cl minus is present. We are talking about AgCl and this is a common ion. So, due to common ion effect, the solubility will be suppressed. Due to common ion effect, the solubility will be suppressed. Hope you understand. Right? So, the solubility maximum in water, that is S1. Then it is in NaCl and then it is in BaCl2 because there the common ion concentration is high. Next. S1, S2, S3. A buffer solution prepared from this pH given, pKa given. The ratio of salt by acid. That is what are. Apply in Henderson equation. Apply the data in Henderson equation. You know what is Henderson equation. And find out that uh, quantity. You see that this is Henderson equation. pH is equal to pKa plus log salt by acid. pH given, pKa given, log salt by acid. And you can work out the data. See that log salt by acid will be 5.22 minus 4.48. So, for what data you are getting? Log of what data you are getting? 0.48. You know log 3 is 0.477. Log 3 is 0.477. You have learnt. So, it is log 3. Log 3. This must be 3. This must be 3. So, it is approximately this data should be 3. So, it is 3 is to 1. 3 is to 1. Option A. Henderson equation. Next one. Equal volume of HCl solution pH 2, pH 4 mixer. pH of the resultant solution will be. See, this is a typical kind of question. pH 2, pH 4 mixer means the final answer will be 
slightly greater than the lower pH. Slightly greater than the lower pH. If you are mixing 2 and 4, the, the resultant pH will be some 2.3. If you are mixing 3 and 6, the resultant pH will be some 3.3, like that. And the answer here must be option D. Answer here must be option D. And how you can work out that? How you can work out that? Have a look at. How you work out that? You see, first solution pH is 2, therefore express concentration 10 power minus 2. Okay. Now, second solution pH 4, then concentration 10 power minus 4. Now, you are mixing these two means, equal volume mixing these two means, the total volume becomes double, therefore concentration becomes half. So, this is the new concentration and this is the new concentration. So, total H plus concentration will be this plus this. And you can take total H plus concentration, add this and this, add this and this. You will get this much. Now, take the negative log of that. Now, take the negative log of that. You will get a value 2.3. You must practice on doing log, anti log, etc. Okay. Next. pH of 10 power minus 8 molar NaOH is close to 2. You see, 10 power minus 8 molar NaOH. NaOH concentration equal to 10 power minus 8 molar equal to OH minus concentration. Therefore, pOH is equal to 8. Therefore, pH is equal to 14 minus 8 equal to 6. This is the one calculation which will take you to a wrong answer. See, NaOH concentration 10 power minus 8. OH minus concentration 10 power minus 8. POH 8. pH 14 minus 8, 6. Will take you to option B and your marks gone. Why? Because and how an alkaline solution can have a pH 6? How an alkaline solution will have a pH 6? Never. It is an alkaline solution. And it can never be 6. It can never be 6.95. It will be either 8 or 7. 7.05. And the answer will be 7.05. Slightly higher than 7. Because it is a very dilute solution of NaOH. Therefore, the pH will be slightly greater than 7. See, it can never be 7. An alkaline solution will have a pH under standard temperatures. It will have a pH more than 7. That's sure. So, how will you, how will you calculate? You have to think in this direction. You have to think in this direction. You see that? Total OH minus concentration. This is OH minus concentration you get from NaOH that is 10 power minus 8. And this is OH minus concentration you can get from pure water. So you have to take the total OH minus concentration and it is coming like this. And you have to take log OH minus concentration and that is you are getting POH 6.95. And then pH is equal to 14 minus 6.95. You will get 7 point something. Okay. Next. <clears throat> KP1, KP2 respectively given. This is a similar kind of question we did just now. We did just now similar kind of question. Only the data changes. You see X giving Y plus Z. A giving 2B, KP1, KP2, 9 is to 1, degree of dissociation remaining equal, the total pressure at equilibrium are in the ratio. Total pressure at equilibrium are in the ratio. It's a repeating question like what we did. And it is an important question also. A very important pattern question also. You see for the first type reaction, KP1 like this. For the second type reaction, we have derived earlier Kp2 like this. You please understand Kp1, Kp2. Okay. So, Kp1 alpha alpha square P1 by 1 minus alpha square. 
kp2 al 4 alpha square p2 by 1 minus alpha square now take the ratio now take the ratio kp1 by kp2 kp1 by kp2 given 1 by 9 so kp1 kp1 by kp2 given 9 by 1 and that is equal to this by that so this will cancel this will cancel you get you get what that p1 by 4 p2 p1 by 4 p2 you get therefore p1 by p2 is equal to 36 is to 1 4 will come this side 36 is to 1 option c similar kind of question but an important pattern of question okay next 32 for the equilibrium AB2 plus C2 giving AB plus BC2, equilibrium constant is 1, equilibrium constant is unity 1. If at equilibrium 90% of original amount of C2 has entered into reaction, the volume proportion in which AB2, C2 were initially mixed will be, that is the question, that is the question. Similar question we did. Similar question we did. I think so. Maybe in my memory I feel like there was a similar question we did earlier. Yes. You see children. AB2 plus C2 giving AB plus BC2. Equilibrium constant. That is AB concentration BC2 divided by AB2 C2. That is equal to 1. Okay. If initially we start with the x moles of AB2, this I am starting with the x mole and this I am starting with the 1 mole. Equilibrium concentrations are AB2, equilibrium concentrations AB2, x minus 0.9. Here the equilibrium concentration will be x minus 0.9. Why 0.9? Because at equilibrium, 90% of original amount of C2 enter into reaction. C2 we have taken 1. 90% of 1, 0.9 undergo reaction. So, so, the quantity of AB2 at equilibrium, X minus 0.9. Quantity of C2, sorry, yeah. Quantity of AB2 at equilibrium, X minus 0.9. Quantity of C2, 1 minus 0.9, 1 minus 0.9, right? And that of AB, that of AB, 0.9, that of BC2, 0.9, over. Now, this into this by this into this, equal to 1. That is, it in the quantity, 0 0.9, it in the quantity, 0 0.9. So, 0 0.9 into 0 0.9 divided by the quantity of AB2, X minus 0.9, into quantity of this 1 minus 0 0.9 that is 0 0.1. So the relation will be 0 0.9, 0 0.9 by x minus 0 0.9 into 0 0.1 that is equal to 1. Therefore you can get x. You will get x as 9. And the answer is 9 is to 1 option A. I'll repeat. We take this initial quantity x. This initial quantity 1 and now 90% of this undergone reaction. That means 0.9 undergone reaction. Now the reaction is 1 mole, 1 mole, 1 mole, 1 mole. So this will be at equilibrium this will be 1 minus 0 0.9, 0 0.1. And this at equilibrium will be x minus 0 0.9. This at equilibrium will be 0.9 is reacting. So this, this at equilibrium will be 0 0.9, 0 0.9. So, you can get X. That's it. Okay, right? Next question. Solubility of AS2, S3 is S. Solubility product constant is. You have learnt. This will give you 2 AS and 3 S2 minus. So, if solubility is S, here it is 2 S here it is 3s and ksp is equal to 2s the whole square, 3s the whole raised to 3 and you will get option C, 108s raised to 5, 108s raised to 5, 
2 s the whole square that is 4 s square 27 s raised to 3 that will be 108 s raised to 5 next 108 s raised to 5 vapor density of pcl5 is 104.3 at room temperature but it is found to decrease to 70.2 when heated to 20 degree Celsius in closer degree of dissociation. Similar question we did. Similar question we did. And here you have another easy method to solve it. Here we have another easy method to solve it. Both the way you can adopt and find out which one is E. You see, degree of dissociation is equal to d minus d by d into <coughs> n minus 1. What is d? Density at the beginning. What is small d? Density at equilibrium. What is n? Number of particles formed by dissociation of one molecule. That is n. Here how it is happening? PCL5 will give you PCL3 plus the L2. So, one molecule will give you two molecules. So, n is equal to 2. So, what happens? d minus d by d into 2 minus 1. So, it is 1. So, d minus d by d. Alpha is equal to d minus d, d minus d by d. Now, this value given, this value given, this value given. See, capital D, small d given and you can find out the answer 0.485 a pretty easy method compared to the stereo the stereotype calculation we did in one another question so both i have explained it is stereotype concept and how to get it easily okay so don't forget this equation to solve such kind of question try whether you are getting 0.485 option c or sorry 0.485 coming in option d or not it is not C, I believe. Next one. In a chemical reaction, the rate constant for forward re backward reaction given. Equilibrium constant is given. Rate constant for forward reaction is. Listen, children. R converted to P. This is forward reaction. This is backward reaction. This is KF and this is KB. And I am sure you know, at equilibrium, at equilibrium, at equilibrium, Rf is equal to Rb. Rf is equal to Rb. And you are getting Kf by Kb. That is equilibrium constant C. Kf by Kb, that is equilibrium constant C. Now, this is given. This is given. What is this? So, it is Kc 1.5 into Kb. 7.5 into 10 power minus 4. So, 1.5 that is Kc into Kb will give you Kf. Option. Option D. 1 point somewhat 11.25 into 10 power minus 4. That is 1.125 into 10 power minus 3. Option C will be coming as the correct answer. Okay. Next, which of the following forms a buffer? This is a buffer, a weak acid and its salt. This is a buffer, a weak acid and its salt. This is a buffer, a weak base and its salt. This is a buffer, a salt of weak acid, weak base. You see, so, you see weak acid and its base, acidic buffer. Weak base and its salt. Basic buffer. A salt of weak acid, weak base can act as a buffer. The answer is 1, 2, 3, 4. All. Option D. Next. Option D. XY2 dissociate as XY2 giving XY2 plus XY plus Y. Initial pressure is 600 mm mercury. Total pressure is 800 mm. Equilibrium constant for the reaction is. A similar kind of question we did. 
I think so x y 2 giving x y plus y initially 600 0 0 at equilibrium it can be 600 minus x x x and now you take the total 600 minus x plus x plus x that is 600 plus x and that is equal to the equilibrium pressure 800 therefore x is equal to 200 and hence the equilibrium constant it is pressure of x y x into pressure of y x divided by pressure of x y 2 600 minus x 600 minus x x is equal to 200 so it is 200 into 200 divided by 600 minus 200 that is 400 so what do you get what do you get 100 option b 100 option b 100 zero is gone yes correct 100 option b 100 next Bronsted acid and the base of ammonia. Bronsted acid and the base of ammonia. You see, ammonia, when accept 1 H plus, ammonia, when accept 1 H plus, you get the bronsted acid. That is ammonium. And now, when it loses 1 H plus, you get amide. So, this is the conjugate base of this. And this is the conjugate acid of this. What do we want? Bronsted acid and the base of ammonia. So that is the acid. This is the base. Ammonium and amide. This is ammonium and that is amide. Ammonium and amide. Option A. Ammonium and amide. Option A. Next. Option A. In which of the following cases reaction go farthest to completion? A reaction, see extent of reaction you can understand from the equilibrium constant value. Higher the equilibrium constant value, that means farthest to the completion. See high equilibrium constant value, you get maximum products. What is equilibrium constant? Equilibrium constant K is equal to product by reactant. A high value K means maximum product. That means farthest to the product side. Which one? Option B. Option B. Option B. Option B, yes. Next one. For which we have KP is equal to KC. KP is equal to KC. You see, Kp is equal to Kc Rt raised to delta n. Now remember when delta n is equal to 0, Kp is equal to Kc. When delta n is equal to 0, Kp is equal to Kc. First one delta n is 3, 2 plus 1, 3 minus 2. So it is what? Second one, 2 minus 4, minus 2. Third one, 2 minus 2, it is 0. Third choice is the correct answer. Product side, 2 mole. Reactant side, 1 plus 1, 2 mole. 2 minus 2, 0. Right? There, delta N is 0. That, that will be the answer. Option C, exactly. Oh, that was the last question. So, that was the last question from the chapter equilibrium. Once again, a chapter which deals with many of the numericals and conceptual questions. But regarding the chapter equilibrium, the most important point is that more number of questions, a very important chapter, probably on an average, not an average, usually we can say three questions we are, we can expect from this chapter for the entrance examination. So give sufficient importance to this chapter. Okay, children. So we will meet with another chapter, another discussion in another class. Okay, bye. See you.